What's going on, E Nation? Are we this is the Impress Twelve Twenty Seven here? Welcome back to yet another diecast haul. This video is going to be about some Hot Wheels and NASCAR Winter Circle hauls I got from Target uh, this past week. Even though I'm filming this on Friday, so the week is almost done. Um, so I'm trying to figure out where to begin. So we got, so I got two. Um, no, hold on. So I got three uh, Hot Wheels One Sixty Fours and two NASCAR Winter Circle One Sixty Fours. So let's start off with the Hot Wheels. So first off, we got the um, I got another uh, Mustang and a Trey Funny Car. This is the one that's a yellow, white, pink, with a blue chassis. I don't remember what I don't remember what colors it was, but yeah. At first, like when I first saw it, I'm like, eh, I don't know. But then I like thought about it when I saw it again. I'm like, you know what? Why not? I have like three. Um, Mustang funny cars, so I thought it'd be cool to get another one. Alright, so, let's open this up. I'm just surprised, like, Hot Wheels keep make, keeps making more of these, uh, Hot Wheels, um, funny car, uh, 164s. I'm surprised that... They've been added. This is like the fourth one they did, I believe. Which I'm not complaining. It's still cool. But I'm just surprised they've been making more of these. So yeah. Nice color. It's a bright color for sure. Got the pink wheels. Perfect timing for like Breast Cancer Awareness Month, uh, if you ask me. So that's that is number one. Next up. I got a 1955 Chevy Bel Air Gasser named the Collection. I got this car because it has the NHRA logo, so it's like an NHRA sanctioned car. I've seen other Gassers like the Chevy Bel Air, but yeah, I've been past. I've been like passing those off for some reason. Like I've been like skipping those for some reason. Not sure, maybe because they're not NHRA related. I don't know, but I haven't passed them out. But when I saw this, I thought about it again. And I'm like, you know what? I'll get it. I'll get this one. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And there's also, this is not made by Hot Wheels, but there's another gasser car. It was a It's a different company that you mainly see at Walmart, but they've been at, at Target for like uh, for a little bit. There's the uh, Dodge, uh, 1966 Dodge NHRA Gasser. That's been a thing, too. Hopefully, at some point, I get that before it's too late. This is my first Gasser car, and wow, holding on to it. This is interesting for sure. I, the, the front suspensions are, like, all the way up. This is a very interesting car. Very cool for sure, I'll say. The Gasser is pretty cool. This livery is cool as well. Honestly, a creative car, I'll say, for the for the gasser cars. Wow. That's car number two. So that's it for the drag racing ones. Alright. And lastly, this is not a drag racing car. This is a sports car related car, a GTP and hyper car, and it is another Cadillac Project GTP hyper car, but this time the blue version. I have the black version, and I got myself a blue one. It would be cool if like Hot Wheels also made like the Acura uh, GTPs, same with the Porsche 963 and uh, the BMWs as well. That wouldn't that be cool? Like realistically, maybe like an Acura should be made as well. I don't. I doubt they would make a Porsche 963. Maybe they would, but I don't know about like Lamborghini hypercars or BMW hypercars. Not sure about that. They did. They've been making the Cadillac ones. So yeah. So this is blue and glossy. Yep, the Cadillac GTP hypercar never gets old to look at, and the sound never gets old, too. Ooh, something sticking out. That's weird. Alright, so that's it for the Hot Wheels cars. And now, let's get on with the NASCAR Winter Circle cars. So, I don't know if I brought this up in my Zane Smith Daytona Win Diecast review. 
or leather shirt or any die cast review that are clean race versions but when it comes to race versions i only collect the green i only collect the clean ones i'm not really a fan of like 164 you a very racy race version plus like if i ever do stop motions again i would like to use those cars so yeah uh, this one is the cleanest, and this is on Chris Busher's 2023 Castro Edge Michigan win. And the 2024 Wave 1 cars have recently been out. They've been out at my Target, so if you're curious of what they have. So here it is. Um, if you're curious of what they have in stores. So, yep. So of course it has the um, the stand that I gotta screw out. So here it is. All right, just gotta figure out what to use. I did this for the James Smith one last time. Now I gotta figure something out. I found it. I'll be right back. All right, so here it is. This is Chris Busher's uh, 2023 Castro Edge. Michigan race version. I finally took the screw out, thankfully. And yep, very clean. Just some like grimes and other dirt and all that. There's a grill. And and this is like a very cool feature right here, which I'm kind of surprised that they did this on Winter Circles, but not really at the same time because obviously you can't do this for like NASCAR Authentics, but you get the chrome numbers. So this is very cool right here. Such a cool car, like, and the chrome is cool as well. I do have the Brakazowski 2023 Castro Edge car, so it's cool to have this as well. How about that? Very cool car that Busher won at Michigan. Love this livery. But the 2022 Kazowski Castro Edge car that he ran Daytona Tested will always be the best Castro car I've seen for Ralph Fenway Kazowski Racing. Either way, this is cool too. And finally... This one is Michael McDowell's uh, 2023 Horizon um, Hobby uh, Ford Mustang Indianapolis 200 or Brickyard 200 race version where he won the final, uh, thankfully, final um, Indianapolis Road Course race. Honestly, they should have just done the Road Course and then the Brickyard 400, basically like Indy Speed Weeks or something like that instead of just doing just one particular track of indie that sh that that should have been done 2021 2023 but that's a story for another time so for now let's get this car out of its box so yeah here so here it is this is mike mcdowell's car awesome awesome now i'm gonna take the screw out i'm gonna take the screws out of it all right, so here it is. This is Michael McDowell's 2023 Horizon Hobbies uh, Indianapolis Road Course win. Finally got this out of its um, stand. And I mainly got this car because it was clean. I know there's like a little mark from some contact on the left rear quarter panel. But I mean, the car's mainly clean. And also, you got the the, um, the windshield wiper as well with the loves, colors, and logo. Um, but I still got this car because it was clean. Because like I said, if I ever did stop motions again, maybe I would use this car. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons why. That's like the main reason why I like to collect clean race versions. So, yeah. But either way, it's a nice car. And, oh my God, Horizon RC NASCAR... RC cars are expensive as hell, $180. They look a bit cheaper than that, but it is cool to see NASCAR RC cars. But the delivery, cool car. I wonder what it looked like without the numbers being forward. But we'll never know. Nice car. It's cool that McDowell won um, Daytona and Indianapolis. I know it's a road course for the Indy one, but hey, he still won Indy. I'll give it that. So, yeah. Those are all the die casts I got from Target uh, this week. Just very cool selections, in my opinion. Best selections I can go for for this haul. So, yeah, that's going to do it for another die cast review. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. This is Ian. 
Perez 1227 signing off. Goodbye, everybody.